What's going on everybody, my name is Hydros and welcome back to some more Pokemon Legends Arceus and today I'm going to show you guys how to evolve Ursaring into Ursaluna. Now before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go down there, click that red subscribe button, click that bell, turn on all notifications so that we miss out on any future videos, as well as drop a like down below on today's video, it does help me out a lot, as well as comment hashtag Ursula because I keep calling Ursaluna Ursula... Ursulana, I don't know why I keep calling it, but I am not calling it by its real name. One of the first things that you're gonna need is obviously either a Teddy Ursa to evolve into Ursaring to then evolve into Ursala, or get yourself an Ursaring to then evolve into an Ursala. So I'm gonna show you guys where to get both Teddy Ursa and Ursaring in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So here we have Ursaring. You can find Ursaring at Coronet Highlands in the Sonorous Path. And then you also have the Crimson Mirelands in Ursa's Ring. So you can find Ursaring in those two locations. You can also find Teddy Ursa in those same locations as well. So there are some Alpha Ursaring around as well. So you can actually probably get yourself an Alpha Ursaring to then evolve into an Ursala. So that's going to be cool if you want to go that route. Or I believe there's an Alpha Teddy Ursa. I believe. I'm not actually sure. Can't remember. But I do believe there is one of at least each so you could evolve the teddy ursa alpha or the ursaring alpha into your ursala so that's how you get teddy ursa and ursaring and you're going to also need another thing once you found yourself a teddy ursa and evolved it into an ursaring or you just caught yourself an ursaring you're then going to need to find yourself a peat block now the peat block is a brand new evolutionary item to pokemon legends arceus and it is a block of muddy material that can be used as fuel for burning when it's dried it's loved by a certain pokemon and that pokemon is going to be our ursaring and that's going to be its brand new evolutionary item into the game now, the way you find a peat block is actually very similar to how you find Cleaver's evolutionary item, and you're gonna be needing to ride on Ursala using the item sniffer and digging up items in the ground in the Crimson Mirelands. It has to be in the Crimson Mirelands. That is where you're gonna find the peat block. Now, again, this could be the chance where you get really lucky and find it on your first try, or you could have to do it a couple times in order to actually find one. It could take you a few minutes, it could take you an hour, it could take you even longer, who knows. But eventually you will find a peat block, and once you do, once you have that, you will be able to evolve Ursaring into Ursala. But once you have the peat block, once you have your Ursaring, there is one final thing that needs to happen in order to evolve Ursaring into Ursala. The final thing that you're going to need to evolve Ursaring into Ursala is you're going to have to wait for a full moon to happen at nighttime in the game. Now you can actually force trigger the full moon in game by going to a campsite and sleeping until nighttime each time until you get the full moon to appear. Now the way the moon actually works in the game is similar to how the real moon works. It goes through its phases. It actually goes through the crescent moon up to the full moon then to the opposite crescent moon. So you can actually trigger the full moon. Each time you sleep at night, it keeps changing the moon. So sleep until nighttime until you find yourself spawning the full moon. Once the full moon is spawned in the game, when you go to your inventory to use the peat block, you will then notice that Ursaring says compatible. When there is not a full moon, Ursaring will say incompatible. So you can literally sleep until nighttime, go to your inventory, check and see if the peat block is compatible with Ursaring. If it's not, sleep again, and then repeat until it says compatible when hovering over the peat block. So as you can see, my Ursaring is compatible with the peat block, and I'm going to go ahead and use it since it is a full moon in the game, and I do have it here right there. There we go, and Ursaring's just chilling on the ground. So let's recall Ursaring, let's go to our peat block and then we will use it. So here we go. This is the only way to evolve Ursaring into Ursala. You're gonna need to be at nighttime and you're gonna have to find yourself a peat block. Now, luckily, I got pretty lucky finding a peat block pretty early. Again, you're gonna have to either be really lucky or you're gonna have to kind of dig around for a while in the Crimson Mirelands in order to get yourself a peat block. So there we go. Ursaring evolved into Ursala there. And that's how you evolve Ursaring into Ursala in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So again, you're going to need to get yourself an Ursaring or a Teddy Ursa to evolve into an Ursaring. You're going to get yourself a Peat Block. Then you're going to wait until the full moon. And then once the full moon is in game, you use the Peat Block and evolve your Ursaring into an Ursala. So again, that's how you do that in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Legends Arceus content. And also click that bell to turn on notifications that we don't miss out on any future videos. And again, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.